let's get controversial. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. I make videos to inspire you to be the star of your own life. I want to touch on a topic that, uh, yeah, it's going to be controversial, I know, because I've touched on this in a few other videos and also shared some of this on my TikTok and I've gotten some controversy, but I really think it would be an interesting topic to talk about. Talking about women hitting men. This is actually something that comes up in some of the film breakdowns that I have done. There is a biological reason why women are inclined to physically hit a man. It really comes down to this need in a woman to feel a man's strength. I've actually heard in primitive times that when a woman was going to mate with a man, she would actually physically assault him to make sure that he was strong enough to protect himself from her in order to know that her offspring were going to be strong and also that he would be able to protect her and her offspring because if a man can't protect himself from a woman, he's certainly not going to be able to protect a woman and children from outside threats, potentially other men and things like that. So there's a biological response. I want to make it very clear I am not advocating for women to go around hitting men. We don't live in a society right now where we really are open to this. And we live in a society right now where we have weakened a lot of men to the point where most of them can't handle this. I posted a little bit about this on my TikTok and I got a lot of men basically screaming domestic violence and I think that that's a sign that in our society we have created this world where we believe that everything is the same between men and women. We refuse to acknowledge that there are differences in men and women and that a woman hitting a man is not the same thing as a man hitting a woman. And I am not advocating abuse. I'm not advocating domestic violence. And I am certainly, certainly not advocating for any kind of abuse of children or things like that. I'm talking about able-bodied adults. I understand that legally assault is assault and there's all kinds of arguments that people are making about women being treated as the same as men when it comes to domestic disputes and things like that. It's a sensitive subject and I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I'm not trying to advocate for people to actually be abusing people. But I found a few clips in some of the films that I've broken down that show the different energies behind a woman being more aggressive so that you can hopefully see the difference in what I'm talking about. So the first film scene is from The Quiet Man where you have the woman basically attacking the masculine and she is, throughout this whole film, she is testing his strength. And he is John Wayne, so he is a rock. Like, she wants to feel that he is a tree and that nothing she can do can make him waver. And if you notice, he doesn't waver. That's what the feminine wants. So bold one you are. And who gave you leave to be kissing me? So you can talk. Yes, I can, I will, and I do. And it's more than talk you'll be getting if you step a step closer to me. Don't worry, you got a wallop. If the masculine is not the tree and he's not grounded and he's not rooted and the feminine takes a swing at him, if he if he falls, he's physically not strong. If he hits back, he's emotionally not strong because because now his ego is bruised and he's going after her. That's a sign that he is weak in mind. So the feminine wants to feel a man's strength in body and in mind. So she wants to know that she can hit him. And this does not necessarily have to be physical. And I, again, I'm not recommending that women actually physically do this because of the society that we're in right now for legal reasons and because I'm not advocating this. But I do think that if we had a world where this was more acceptable, I think we would have better mating rituals. But that's a whole other a whole other topic. The feminine wants to feel like she could even emotionally throw things at him. She, no matter what she throws at him, that he is grounded in his strength because she can feel his strength. That's what she wants to feel. She is testing him. It it is a version of feminine testing. It's not the only version of feminine testing, and I have a whole video where I talk about feminine testing in more detail. It's her version of feminine testing. Another example is from The Notebook, which is me talking about this, kind of stirred up some of this in my mind, because a lot of people did not like that I was talking about Allie hitting Noah in The Notebook as much as she does. She hits him at one point during their breakup because she knows he's out of integrity. He had been so strong and masculine and in his strength for so much of their relationship and he then started to question whether or not he was good enough for her. He didn't tell her that, but he turned into this, let's just go with the flow, let's just see. He turned into a flow boy and that one of those go with the flow kind of things. He was not presenting himself in his masculine strength and Allie got really upset because she knows, in her soul, she knows he's out of integrity and she's he's also not that grounded masculine strength that she was used to. So she starts hitting him 
again, I'm not advocating this, but I'm saying she's hitting him because she wants him to wake up and she wants to feel that strength again. Come on! Do it! 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 No! Stop it! Oh! Noah handles it perfectly in that he starts hitting himself because he gets playful and it wakes her up in realizing what she's doing. He never hits her back because that would not be true masculine energy. Hitting a woman back is not masculine energy. He's playfully hitting himself because it's silliness and that silliness wakes her up from realizing what she's doing because that's another aspect of masculine energy. The masculine and the feminine wake each other up a lot. It's not out of a place where she actually wants to hurt him. She's basically like, hey, wake up. I want my strong man again. I just did a breakdown of Jerry Maguire, and if you look at the Jerry Maguire scene with Jerry's breakup with Avery, this is an example of abuse. <laughs> this is an example of the feminine's ego is bruised. Her ego is bruised, Jerry tries to break up with Avery, Avery puts on a fake pouty face to try to make him feel bad and to kind of throw him off, and then she hauls out and punches him. That's all from her ego. It's over. No one has ever dumped me. I did the 23-hour nose route to the top of El Capitan in 18 hours and 23 minutes. I can make this work. No. I never want to hurt you. I won't let you hurt me, Jerry. I'm too strong for you, loser. She's in her masculine energy. She wants to hurt him because she doesn't like what he's had to say and she's coming at him from ego. Three different scenes, three different interactions. I hope that these scenes showed you the difference. Now again, I can't say this often enough. I am not advocating for women hitting men. I do think that it is different when a woman hits a man than when a man hits a woman. It's different energy and there's a whole lot of reasons behind that. We're talking about a grown adult man he has had a lifetime of testosterone. Most men have had a lifetime of opportunities to learn how to stay grounded and to defend themselves against anybody, particularly a woman, who has not had, if we're talking about an adult woman, has not had a lifetime of testosterone in order to be as physically strong as a man. So it is not the same thing biologically, physically. I would encourage any man, if you really want to step into your masculine energy, if you want to be in any kind of relationship at all, to learn some type of self-defense, preferably some kind of martial arts, something that keeps you grounded and stable so that you are able to, I mean, defend your family. And again, I'm not advocating that you stay with a woman who is physically abusing you, but understanding the difference between that, that dark feminine, that fiery feminine, that drive that she has to feel your strength and that drive that she has to wake you up. That is a primal aspect of what many women feel and she may feel a drive to do that and understanding the difference between that and a woman who is just punching you because her ego is bruised and she wants to hurt you it's a different energy and i hope that this demonstrated energetically why there's a difference there and again men and women are just different biologically i'm sorry they are men have more testosterone they have the ability to grow a lot more muscle a lot more strength most men have plenty of opportunities to learn how to protect and defend themselves and other people. I think that's a huge part of of being a man, of stepping into masculinity and manhood is learning to do that. If you have not learned to do that, you probably are not prepared to be in a relationship and especially to start a family. So for a woman, I'm not advocating that you hit a man to feel his strength, but understanding that you have a biological drive to do that and there is a reason you have a biological drive to do that. And also knowing that there are other ways to wake up a man, but making sure that if you do feel like you want to hit a man, that it's not coming from your own ego and trying to wake up in that moment because if it is coming from ego or actually wanting to physically hurt him that's a problem and that's something you need to work on however if you want to feel his strength hitting him may not be the best way to do that especially in our current society but it is natural to feel that urge and maybe feeling a way that you can wake him up in another way it's normal and natural to want to do that to want to feel his strength to want to feel that power and not suppressing yourself because the feminine today tends to feel like we have to completely suppress ourselves, su suppress that, that fiery energy, that passion that comes out of us, the dark feminine aspects of us. It's not supposed to be from ego or wanting to hurt someone. It's designed to wake a man up. And if you can actually find a way to wake a man up in that dark feminine, in that fiery feminine, to wake a man up, to feel his strength, to call him to attention in your own way, that's a beautiful thing. And we should really embrace that. So. I know this video is probably going to be controversial. I 
hope I was clear in what I said and I hope everybody understands and that some of these film clips actually are helpful to you. So respectful comments, I'm open to them. If you disagree with me, as long as you're respectful, I'm totally open to that. Let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have any other topics you'd like me to talk about, let me know that too, you can leave a comment. If you'd like to learn the art of feminine communication, I have a master class, which will be linked in the description box below, along with links to all my social media accounts. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.